My name is Chandra. I'm a professor at uh, Colorado State University, and I'm also a co-PI on the CSU Chill Radar Facility where uh, we are standing right now. This is a national facility funded by the National Science Foundation, and it's meant for uh, fundamental research in uh, remote sensing. And I have a lot of my research work is on remote sensing, and uh, this radar is one of the crown jewel of uh, our research instrumentation. It's a very advanced research at uh, S-band, which is about 3 gigahertz frequency, and uh, it's a dual polarized system, and uh, it can measure what we call as the full covariance or polarization matrix of uh, precipitation or uh, distributed targets. And it's a very advanced facility uh, because uh, it, it, the system offers uh, very high polarization purity at both uh, copolar and cross-polar states and it has a very high gain antenna and it has an extremely sensitive receiver. This facility has uh, played a major role in providing all the, the groundwork for uh, the recent uh, engineering research center that we have won. It's called CASA, which is Center for Collaborative Adaptive Sensing of the Atmosphere where we are developing paradigms, the new paradigms called DCAS, which is Distributed Collaborative Adaptive Systems, where we network uh, a whole bunch of radars, and all the fundamental research that is needed to build those radars uh, come through a lot of the measurements that we do with this radar facility. For example, right now uh, we are doing experiments uh, as we speak, uh, comparing S-band and X-band observations. X-band is at a higher frequency, which is about 10 gigahertz, and as a result, uh, the equipment is uh, smaller and cheaper. However, X-band uh, propagation experiences a lot of attenuation when, it prop when the electromagnetic beams uh, propagate through precipitation. However, because of all the research we have done with this radar in the past 10 years with dual polarization, we have developed technology to unravel that attenuation. A lot of these problems are very rich problems. What I mean by rich problem is, um, these are fundamental basic problems in remote sensing that leads to a development of new technologies that there is always a level of problem available for PhD students, master's level students, undergraduate students, and even for small class projects. The type of research enabled by this radar facility leads to fundamental understanding in uh, microphysics. And uh, so this type of uh, technology and uh, remote sensing measurement will play a key role in the global observations uh, through programs such as uh, Global Precipitation Measurement, which is an international NASA, Japan, and European Space Agency-led program that is uh, in the works now. Similarly, then we have this uh, Engineering Research Center that is, again, a national-level project, which is a partnership between um, a lot of universities and the government labs where we take the technology and then the experiments we do with this research facility to develop new design paradigms for the radar and remote sensing technology in those. So the bottom line is you will see that it's, it's a fairly rich research environment with a lot of potential scope and opportunities.